Hello, my name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this Upgrading Camera Firmware via Camera Repair and Firmware Upgrade Nucleus Application tutorial, you will learn how to upgrade your Phantom Camera with the latest revision of firmware. Before I start, I want to point out a few important notes. Prior to performing a firmware upgrade, you will need to contact Vision Research Technical Support at support at visionresearch.com to obtain the files necessary to perform the upgrade and ensure the camera's hardware will accept the upgrade. This firmware upload process should never be used to load an earlier version of the firmware that has already been loaded into the camera and must not ever be used with an IEEE 1394 camera model. Phantom Flex 4K, Ultra High Speed, Miro Lab, Miro LC, Miro R, Miro M, and Miro C series cameras do not support this feature. Therefore, they must be returned to Vision Research to be upgraded. When updating Phantom CineMag compatible cameras, ensure the CineMag is attached when performing the firmware upload. And the camera should always be connected to AC power when performing the firmware upgrade. The upgrade should never be performed when running on battery power. Depending on the camera being upgraded, not all firmware options may need to be uploaded to the camera. As I just mentioned, Vision Research's technical support will provide the necessary files to upload. What I need to do is save the files to a folder on my computer's hard drive, which I've already done. To start the process, I'll click the Camera Repair and Firmware Upgrade Nucleus button in the Manager tab to open the Phantom Nucleus dialog window. Then I'll tell the software the camera I want to upgrade. I can manually enter this information, or I can select the camera from the camera's pull-down selection list, and the required data will be populated automatically for me. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the Phantom V12 Cam 1 camera. As you can see, the software it has entered the IP address of the camera and the camera's hardware version number. It has also populated the camera's info fields with the serial number of the camera, the assigned name of the camera, the firmware version installed in the camera, the installed FPGA or Field Programmable Gate Array firmware version, and the kernel version installed in the camera. Now I need to click the Upload Files tab and select the files to upload. The file selection will be based on the files provided by Vision Research. If the file provided was a zip file, I would select the All-in-One button and navigate to the folder containing the zip file, then select and open it. I will show you the remaining steps after I describe the individual firmware file options. The Firmware button is used to navigate and select the PA7.version number file or the PH16.version number file to upload to the camera. In my case, the PH7.756 file. Notice the full path of the file has been placed into the firmware data entry field. The FPGA Field Programmable Gate Array button is used to navigate to and select the ph.bin version number file to upload to the camera. In my case, the v122.bin, 596.240 file. Like before, the full path of the file has been placed into the FPGA data entry field. If the camera had an integrated non-volatile memory module installed, the flash FPGA button would be active and used to select the phflash.version number file to upload. The CineMag FPGA button is used to navigate to and select the fdhd.bin.version number file to upload to the camera. For my camera, it's the fdhd.bin.12263 file. 
The 10G FPGA button is used to navigate to and select the phxbin.version number file to upload to the camera. For this camera, it's the v122x.bin.388.240 file. The kernel button is used to navigate to and select the zimage.ocotea.version number file to upload to the camera. For this camera, it's the zimage.ocotea.161.40 file. The X button next to the file path fields are used to remove the file from being uploaded. I'm going to remove all but the firmware file just to demonstrate the last few steps in the process. In the upload, proceed with uploading firmware to camera and the IP address of the camera message. I'll click the OK button. This will be followed by a wait for camera to reboot message. When it does, I'll click the OK button. Now I can close the Phantom Nucleus dialog window and verify the firmware has been upgraded by right clicking the camera name in the manager tab. So that concludes the restoring factory calibrations by a camera repair and firmware upgrade nucleus application tutorial where you learned how to upgrade the firmware to a phantom camera. For in-depth phantom operations, Vision Research offers phantom operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com Service Support Training or contact your local sales representative who can be found on our website under the Contact Us pull-down selection list for more information about our training sessions or for Phantom Cameras in general. Music